What's up everybody? I wanted to show off a couple of figures that I picked up recently and I'm very ecstatic over this haul uh, for the love of G.I. Joe that I hold dear to my heart. But what I have is the Amazon exclusive original looking uh, roadblock. And uh, this is just a great looking figure. Uh, got it off of Amazon and uh, it looks great. And I'm not knocking the other versions. I love the way they look as well. But this is the OG version. Uh, love the gun. I don't like that it's green. Might paint it black. Put a dry wash on it or something. But uh, we've got Roadblock right there. The next one I got was Breaker with the Ram Cycle. I also got another Breaker with a Ram Cycle. And I also have a third one coming. <laughs> I'm planning on putting maybe another head sculpt on it. And um, I uh, got this figure right here. He doesn't come with any accessories for himself other than his helmet. Um, I'm going to post a picture right here uh, from someone who makes custom weapons. This will be the first set that I've ever received from them. And it's specifically made for this character. And... Um, it hasn't arrived yet. When it does come in, I might do a little showcase on that right fast. But this is also another great looking figure for the line. Um, I love the OG uh, green colors to it. The head sculpt looks amazing. The head sculpt on uh, Roadblock is uh, good as well, just so you can get an idea. But um, I don't do a lot of interview uh, reviews on here, but I definitely wanted to show off this haul. Here is the Ram Cycle, very well made. The minigun is the same exact one that comes with Roadblock, and this one is actually black. So I'm wondering if I'll to just swap out the green one and put it in this one and give Roadblock the black one. But uh, who knows? But it fits inside the case. Uh, it separates, you set the minigun in there and you connect the two plastic pieces back and there's two peg holes that fit into the side of the cycle. But uh, yeah, this is just an awesome set. I, I probably would say this is one of my top pickups of the year so far. I don't do a lot of those top 10 things, but I might do it this year just because of the G.I. Joe line. That has been just phenomenal. Um, and here's another one of him on the motorcycle right there. And uh, like I said, I got a third one coming in. And uh, so far I'm seeing a lot of targets are keeping these stocked up. So uh, it's a lot easier to come by. And this right here has been out for a while. I wanna say it came out in maybe 2018. I could be very well uh, wrong about that. If so, just leave it in the comments down below. But I have been wanting this land speeder for a long time and it just eluded me everywhere that I tried to get it. And uh, it just looks great. It's got a lot of custom looking motor stuff in there and Hasbro did real well with that. And uh, I'm really happy with this. And uh, I got it from Life with Brock. He was selling some of his uh, stuff on Facebook. And uh, I am super ecstatic to have this added to the collection. Um, I'm not too keen on the Luke Skywalker head sculpt. They came out with several better ones since this release with the uh, photo reel. And um, I might swap that head out with another one. But yes, this is one of the vehicles that I just could not find and I am very happy to get it. So a lot of vehicles on this haul, but um, I am so happy with this set right there. You can probably tell. But uh, yeah, this is very G.I. Joe heavy. I hope you enjoyed some of these uh, pickups that I got. I do have a third one coming. And again, I uh, might do a review with him with the new weapon set that I've got coming in. But uh, anyway, just like to show off some of the stuff that I've added to the collection and, uh, and go from there. Appreciate it.